Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can write a JavaScript program to find the factorial of a number. And before getting started, let us see what exactly is the factorial of a number. If we have a number, let us say n, then the factorial of this number n, we denote factorial by using this um, exclamatory mark and we call it as n factorial is equal to the product of all positive integers from 1 to n. So here for n factorial, what we have to do is we have to take all positive integers from 1 to n and we have to multiply them. So it will be 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 up to n. Now let us say we have the number 4, then 4 factorial equal to 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. We can write it in reverse order also. That is, we can write 4, 3, 2 and 1. You know, the result will be same. And here we will get 24. And one thing here is we can avoid multiplying it by 1 because that is not going to change the value. And when we talk about the factorials, we have to remember a couple of things. For the negative numbers, we can't compute the factorial. For the number 0, the factorial value is 1, that is 0 factorial equal to 1 and 1 factorial is equal to 1. And for all other positive numbers, we have to do the calculation that I have uh, said before. So now let us see how we can write the JavaScript program for this. Now the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to enable strict mode, you know, for writing the secure JavaScript code. So in double quotes, we will write use strict. Now after that, we need a variable for storing the number for which we want to find the factorial value. So we will call that variable as number. And I'm going to say we want to find the factorial of number four. Now the next variable that we need is for storing the factorial value that we are going to calculate. And let's create that variable. So it will be let um, I'm going to call that variable as factorial and I will initialize this variable with a value of one. And by initializing this variable by one, I can construct the logic in certain way. You know, I'm going to talk about that later. Now, the next thing that we have to do is um, we have to check whether this number is uh, uh, a negative number because for the negative numbers, we can't compute the factorial value. So we will use the if conditional statement and we will check if the number variable is containing a value which is less than zero. If it is so, then we will display a message stating that we can't find the factorial for negative numbers. So it will be console.log and here I'm going to say can't find factorial for negative numbers. Okay, then we will have the else block. And if we are in this else block, then it means that the number is not a negative number. So it can be zero, it can be one or it can be greater than that. So now what we have to do is we have to find the product of all positive integers from one to whatever the value present in this number variable. You know, in this example, number variable is containing four. So to find out the factorial of this four, we have to perform 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. So we need to start at a specific number and we have to go up to specific number. So what we can do is we can use a loop and in this case we will use a for loop. So it will be for and in the initialization section of this for loop I will create a variable and I'm going to call that variable as num and I'm going to initialize this variable with a value of two. And here we have to start multiplying from one, but multiplying with one will not change the value. So I'm going to skip that. So I'm going to start from two because, you know, multiplying with the two will change the value. And then we have to write the condition for this loop. You know, how long we want to continue running this for loop. And that condition will be as long as this num variable contains a value which is less than or equal to the value present in this number variable. And after that, with every iteration, what we want to do, we want to increment the value of this num variable. Now here, um, just to show you guys what we get in this for loop, 
I'm going to display the value that we get for this num variable. So I'm going to write console.log and here I'm going to use the backtick and I'm going to display the value that we get for this num variable. So here I'm going to refer the num variable. Now the number variable is initialized with the value of four. And if I save this program and if I run this code, then you guys can see here the for loop will run for two, three and four. You know, it has started from two and it has run up to four. That is the value that we have in this number variable. You know, if you want, you can initialize this num variable with a value of one, but it will not affect the result. Okay. Now, the next thing that uh, we're going to do here is inside this for loop, um, you know, instead of displaying the value that we get for this num variable, what we have to do is we have to multiply the value that we get for this num variable in every iteration. So for that purpose, what we can do is we can make use of this factorial variable that we have, uh, uh, you know, created in the beginning. So what we can do is we can write factorial equal to factorial multiplied by num. If you remember, we have initialized factorial variable with a value of one. So with every iteration, whatever the value this num variable will contain, that will be multiplied with the value present in this factorial variable. And that result will be stored back in this factorial variable. So when this for loop finishes, we have the product of the numbers from two to whatever the number that we have in this uh, number variable. Okay. Now after this uh, for loop, what we can do is we can display the factorial value that we have calculated in this factorial variable. So I'm going to use the console.log. I'm going to use the back tick in here and I'm going to display the value of this number variable. So number. And then I'm going to display the factorial symbol and then I'm going to display equal to and the factorial value that we have. So it will be factorial. Now I'm going to save this program and I'm going to run this code. And it says four factorial equal to 24. We can change this value. For example, we can make it six. If I save this program and if I run this code, it says six factorial equal to 720. And this time I'm going to change this one to zero. And if I run this, it says zero factorial equal to one. And let's make it one. If I save this, if I run this code, it says one factorial equal to one. Um, what happened here is when this num variable contains a value zero or one, this for loop will not execute at all. That's because in this for loop, first this num variable will be initialized with a value of two. And then this condition is checked. If this condition satisfies, then only the body of this for loop will be executed. But if the number variable contains a value one, then in the first iteration only, in the beginning only, the for loop condition fails because num is containing two and zero or one in this number variable will not satisfy this condition. So two is not less than or equal to zero or one. So this condition will fail in the beginning and this for loop will uh, stop executing. It will not execute at all. So since we have initialized the factorial variable with a value of one, you know, it will display the proper result. You know, it will say zero factorial equal to one, one factorial equal to one. If we have a value, you know, greater than one, then this for loop will run at least for once and it will uh, uh, find out the factorial value and it will display that. I'm going to change this one to a negative number. Let us say negative 10 and I'm going to save this program and I'm going to run this code. And this time it says can't find the factorial for negative numbers. So here in this case, the if condition is uh, satisfied and this um, console log has displayed this message. So this is it guys. This is how we can write a simple JavaScript program to find the factorial of a number. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.